uh, there is a really small details in this scene that I actually didn't see while I was watching the series earlier. But today, while I was watching the interview of the actual Straw Hat crew, I'm talking about the enemy, by the way. Uh, the voice actor from the One Piece enemy, uh, they were actually reacting to some scenes of the live action series. And that's when they actually talked about it, and that's when I realized it. Like when Sanji was talking to his mentor or his guardian. I would prefer to call him Guardian. Uh, Zeref, we can see his face clearly, right? There is a small part of the ship which is broken in this area, and that's why we can see him clearly. Now, I I didn't actually pay much attention to this uh, while watching the series earlier. I did see that uh, broken area, but I thought, hey, it is part of the ship, and it was probably because of some kind of battle, or maybe Luffy broke it. Who knows? <laughs> okay, yeah, something like that. Uh, but the voice actor actually revealed something really, really cool that this part was actually broken by Garp. So that's actually a really, really good information which I honestly didn't expect to see. It was like really cool. They did pay attention to even the smallest thing in this series. That's why this one actually became such a huge hit. Well done, man. Whoever actually, you know, directed this uh, whole series. Uh, whoever was in charge of it, I can honestly say that they're like huge fan of One Piece. That's why they did such a good work. Otherwise, if you're working just for money or, you know, just because Netflix told you to, I don't think this one would have been so good. So these small details are actually like really, really good. Yeah, that's all I have to say, guys.